developers in those cities, and and they're they're really real. So even though our headquarters is in San Francisco, we don't have people that are managing Miami or Tampa or Orlando from San Francisco. We're hiring people who are actually legitimately local to that place, and I think that has been one of the key drivers to our successes outside of San Francisco, has been hiring people that are true locals, who have a deep knowledge of the city that they're in, and if you happen to meet one of these people, whether it be in Boston or Toronto or Philadelphia, this person is probably going to be the most knowledgeable individual about that city. They're going to love so many things about it, they'll be able to show you uh, a place, uh, many places actually, um, in that city that you would never be able to find any other way except through Yelp or through this particular community manager. And again, this is really about us going sort of a mile, uh, a mile deep um, and an inch wide. So rather than trying to get everywhere at once, we are taking an approach which has taken obviously a long time and also cost lots of money, but we feel is really the only way to create the world's most trusted local guide, and that is to go market by market. Um, really putting in the investment to see that uh, community truly grow before looking at, at any issues of monetization. So who are these people? We know a little bit about their uh, demographic information, but this community is pretty compelling. Um, these are just a few examples on the top left. It's uh, in a race called Beta Breakers in San Francisco, which if any of you have ever experienced it or heard about it, you probably know that it includes lots of naked people running through San Francisco. Um, none of our Yelpers were naked on this day, as far as I know, but they did have the Yelp man that they were taking along. And then to the right, you have uh, a bunch of uh, London Yelpers who got together to do something called YelperCon just last week where they were dressed up as Yelp leprechauns and uh, parading through the streets. I think they're actually on Oxford Street there. Um, these are some of our Yelp community managers in the red sweatshirts uh, at the Olympics in Vancouver just a few weeks ago. And then you're seeing them also in Hawaii, in New York City, and also in Austin. And these communities are really vibrant in their own sense. Um, and to speak about that is really to sort of get to know what the essence of these cities are. So a Yelper in Austin while their rabid passion about Yelp is similar to a Yelper in Philadelphia, what you'll notice is that they really reflect the community. So I actually started out with Yelp as the community manager of Washington, D.C., and back then I held a lot of parties at 5 o'clock because lots of people in Washington, D.C. work for the federal government and they're not working past 4.30. Whereas, when you go to a, a, a Yelp event in Miami, if you say it's going to start at 7, people are probably not going to show up till 8.30. And I think it's these sort of very localized patterns that we're seeing about our community in the sense that they're all loving Yelp and they're all on the site and, and contributing their reviews and helping other people to connect to great local businesses. But at the end of the day, this is really um, hyper-local. These are people that are writing about places that they would only matter um, to them in their particular locality. So let's meet one of these Yelpers. This is Patty P. from San Francisco. And you can see a few examples of how people interact with the community here. So he, up on the left side, you'll see that Patty P. has actually been a member of the Yelp Elite Squad, which is um, a really great program that we've had since the inception of Yelp. And essentially, these people are our most active and prolific members. And if they're interested in becoming part of the Yelp Elite Squad, they can submit their nomination to the Yelp Elite Squad Selection Committee and hope and pray that they'll get to be a part of it. And Patty B has, has actually achieved that designation two years in a row in 2009 and 2010. Uh, to the bottom of that, you'll see some compliments that Patty's received from other Yelpers telling her that she's hot, cool, and has great photos, which we can see over here. Um, and then on the right side, you're noticing that she's actually been a part of the site since November of 2008, and she loves cake and ketchup. Um, <laughs> the other parts that you can also see here are some of the just other aspects of her writing about her other websites that she likes, um, books that she read. Unsurprisingly, we know that she loves ketchup, and she also uh, recently read a great book on ketchup. Um, so what's interesting about this is that the, there are so many profiles like this. Um, just like Patty P, of people who are very, very rapidly interested in being part of this community and sharing their opinions on everything from uh, ketchup to tacos. One of the most exciting developments that we've had recently on Yelp are um, taking our website from the desktop over to the mobile phone. And we have now uh, 
applications on every one of the different devices. You're not seeing the iPhone one here because I've got a special surprise for you on the next slide. Um, something that I think is probably the most salient thing that's been happening recently is that we see a major uptick in the usage of Yelp on the desktop during the week. And then as we transition over to the weekend, beginning from Friday night, we see a massive exodus from the desktop onto the mobile device. So these are people who are, during the week, planning from their cubicle when they're probably supposed to be doing their other work. And then on the weekend, they are planning their lives on the go. So they're looking for that cupcake uh, shop or that um, you know bar or happy hour while they're on the go. Um, and we now have a number of our unique visitors coming every day uh, through the mobile devices and, and this is something that we're continually putting uh, more and more emphasis behind. Presenting the Yelp app for the iPhone. It's all you'll need to connect with great local businesses and even plan a night out on the town. You can easily pull up a list of businesses based on your current location. Just click the type of business you're looking for and the Yelp iPhone app does the rest. Browse reviews and quick tips, check out photos, and even map your route there. Yelp's check-in feature lets you keep track of how often you visit local businesses and shows you which of your friends has also been there recently. And when you want to give others a helpful insider tip about a business, the Yelp app lets you post a quick tip. You can even post a photo directly from your iPhone. <coughs> While the Yelp app for the iPhone can easily and quickly connect you with great local businesses on the go, we're generally not responsible for what happens once you get there. And should you find yourself lost, you can turn to Yelp's augmented reality feature, Monocle, to get a better look at what's all around you. If all else fails, using the check-in feature, you can easily see where your friends are and go find them for some much-needed commiseration. The Yelp app for the iPhone. See the magic all around you.